So which screed did you rent? It comes with whatever I want when I pick it up. Okay. So they only have one screed. They comes. have two. They have one power screed. Yes, we're renting the power screed. Okay. Vibratory. Whatever it is. Screed, whatever. Yeah. So we're renting that. I would get one that's at least 10 feet long, okay? But we'll probably do it every eight feet because that's about where our boards are, so it's easy to line up. Does that mean we have to bring up the other trailer next weekend? To to pick the stuff up, it can go right in the back of the truck. Okay. So it's light. It's uh, aluminum or magnesium, so it's very light. And it fits in there on an angle. Um, sticks out of the back of the tailgate, no problem. So. The reason we're going to do it like every eight feet is because then you've got overlap. So then you'll, this will be done on this first section. So we won't have to set any more here, but we'll have to set the next pad I got you. here. Or wherever, yeah. So it's right there at the top of the concrete. Okay. Uh -huh. And we keep trawling that, adding a little mud or whatever until we get it to where it sits on top of there and it's, it beeps a solid beep like that. Okay, and that would make, make the top of the concrete here. Then you gotta go over the wall for your next paper. for all my coffin today. Use the two by four in line with these to set our taper. Because we do have a two inch per 24 foot pitch on this floor to run the water out the doors. It's lower on this, the door side than the, the back side of the garage. Oh, well, that's smart. So we'll be doing a lot of that. I was watching Ray's hose method out there. 
He's got some interesting hose techniques today. 